This morning, though, we have something important and hard for me. Because I love this family. They're awesome. But on Tuesday, they're taken off. And they're going to Bolivia. Now, if you know the Trots, they have been our missionaries for nine years down in Angola. And before that, actually, David was speaking in Spanish in San Bernardino before he ever went there. What, they don't speak Spanish there, though, David. In Bolivia? <laughs> no, in, in the Angola. <laughs> so he, but he's going to go to another country now in Bolivia where they do speak Spanish. And they are going to be doing a mission there. God has called them there, they believe. And we are fully in support of them. So this family, the last year, you've seen them many places. They've loved and served in great ways. Micah House, I mean, I can't even list all the ways. It's just been wonderful to be with them this last year. And they're leaving us, but we're sending them out. They are missionaries of Trinity Church, missionaries of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we get the privilege of spending some days with them. What I'd like to do is ask David um, to share with us where they're going, what they'll be doing, and what Jeremy and TJ will be doing as well. Well, first, I'd just like to, on behalf of the whole family, thank Trinity Church for allowing us to be uh, a part of the family this past year and for just ministering to us and praying with us during this time of transition. And um, we'll be living in Cochabamba, Bolivia, where uh, our mission, SIM, has its headquarters. For the first year, I'll be the acting deputy director for our team there, um, filling in for some of our leadership who are on home assignment uh, for, for a year. And so I'll just be supporting our missionary families, uh, making sure that they're doing well, that they have everything that they need to be able to reach their uh, objectives and, and fulfill our vision uh, for SIM Bolivia. Miriam will be the health coordinator for our team, um, also ministering to the missionary families there, uh, whatever health issues come up. Um, Miriam will also have a medical ministry with uh, children, uh, orphanages and other children's ministries in Cochabamba. Uh, she'll be partnering with them to provide medical care for children. Um, after the, the first year of uh, being involved in administration, then I'll be teaching. Uh, there's an evangelical seminary there. There's also an uh, international school there, which is where Jeremy and TJ will be going, entering seventh grade and ninth grade uh, mm -hmm. this year. And Karachi Pampa Christian School is also an outreach to the community. Uh, about mm -hmm. over half of the children are local Bolivians, uh, many of them from unreached, uh, unchurched families. So um, mm -hmm. that's also a, a ministry. So that's what we'll be doing. Wow. Wow. Now, if you remember that their ministry in Angola, while they were there, they planted churches, did medical ministries, children's ministries. Um, they did a, an AIDS uh, ministry there. I mean, it's just so much. The Lord has already used them in great ways, and here they are launching out again. So we need to pray for them and um, just, just love them. Okay. All right. Well, I'm actually convinced they're going to Bolivia to, to have a break because if you've seen these guys around here this year, they've been everywhere. Like everywhere you look, there's a trot serving somewhere. Um, you know, David, you've done a lot with middle school, and, and you've been on our Mexico trip with us teaching a lot of our families about missions. And Miriam, you've served as a, as a buddy, um, which also means we need a buddy because we, we're sending one to Bolivia. And then I've had the privilege of hanging out with these two young men in Elevate Middle School, and it's just been a blast. Um, we have a slight disagreement about World Cup issues, but um, what we do agree on is we call it football, and that's basically where it ends, but um, they have been awesome. These are awesome boys, and we want to pray for this family, and we're going to send them and commission them in the name of the Lord, so pray with us, please. Yes. Father, I thank you for the Trot family. We are so grateful for them. Thank you for allowing them to be part of our church family. And they will continue to be a part of our church family as we have sent them out. Father, I pray you'd bless mm. them, their, their ministry that you've prepared for them. Father, I pray for transitions of, of, of a new home, a new culture, a new school for the boys. Father, I pray for relationships to, to form. Father, I pray that uh, Bolivia 
would have a, a sense of home for them quickly. Father, would you enable just fruitful ministers, uh, ministry, Father, as we, as we send these guys out as, as laborers unto your harvest field. We thank you for uh, the fruit of, of nine years in Angola, and we pray for the church there. And Father, we expect great things by your hand in Bolivia, and we already give you praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give me a hug. Hey. Come here.